Brandon. Hey, Frank. Do you know what nuts come from hell? What nuts come from hell? Hades nuts. <laughs> oh, your timing is getting better. Emma Stone, <laughs> born November 6th, 1988. We are doing a movie draft. Frank, as you can see, was in the lead, so Frank will get to pick first. And then Ichabod will go, and then I will go. And I have done almost no prep, and as I was downloading the, the, the uh, posters for this, I realized I don't know that many Emma Stone movies. So mm. we shall see how this goes. But Frank, what is going to be your first Emma Stone movie in your movie draft? I'm probably taking one off of your guys' I know what I'm you're going to fucking take. I know it already. Super bad. God bless it. Yeah, dude. Such a good movie. I mean, I, I, when that movie came out, like, like my, my, my friends were quoting it left and right. And so I think they kind of killed the hype for me because when I finally saw it, it wasn't as funny as like they had hyped it up to be. And I hate when that shit happens. I could see but that. But it's still, it's still a really funny and, and good movie. But yeah, we could be the Iron that. Chef of Pounding Vaj. <laughs> I could still watch that movie today and laugh my ass off. I love that movie. Hey, like Evan, why don't you go the... piss your pants again? Dude, that was like eight years ago, <laughs> asshole. People don't forget. People don't forget. <laughs> I like when I like when he dumps the 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 detergent out of the the, the bottles the and party? fills it up with the beer. Yeah, <laughs> running oh. down the street, slush, slush, slush. So it's oh, it's that I gotta watch that one again. That's such a great movie. Your name's McLovin. All right, super bad's off the board. Ichabod, what's your first one? That was the first on my list. I think it was the first uh, on all so of our lists. I, I'm Probably. pretty confident it was. I'm actually going to go down to a rom-com and Ooh. do uh, Crazy Stupid Love. Hell. That is a good one. Very funny movie. I just love Ryan Gosling in that movie. He's fantastic in that movie. Well, Ryan Gosling on, I gotta, and I gotta, I gotta Steve are both fantastic in it. I just I got Frank saying I love Ryan Gosling. In that movie, Gosling his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me see here. What do I want to go with? Well, first one I got to go with. Definitely, I'm going Zombieland. That's going to be my first Emma Stone movie. And for number two, I don't know a lot of her movies. So I will go... You know what? Damn it. I'm going to go with uh, The Amazing Spider-Man. I was about to say, Spider-Man. I mean, there's obviously better movies, but... I like that it wasn't one better terrible. than Spider-Man it's... 2. Spider-Man, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 was... Not good. No. Although I do like how they made fun of that. It was not nearly as bad as 3, though. 3 was terrible. I do like how they made fun of uh, The Amazing Spider-Man uh, when he fights Rhino. Where he, where they're all talking, like, in... Um, about, yeah, I fought a The rhino. three are together, in there and they're talking about, like, he's like, yeah, I fought an alien. I fought this. He goes, I fought a guy in a rhino costume. Well, even like they make fun of uh, Jamie Foxx, how he became Electro. He's like, yeah, I fell into a you know, Yeah, I fell into eels. a bat of eels. <laughs> uh, and the other villains are like, oh. All right, Icky, what is your second movie for your Emma Stone movie draft? I'm going to go with Birdman. Oh, nice. good pick, good pick. Michael Keaton. Oscar winner. All right, Frank, you get to go back to back here now. Back to back, back to back. Um, you're right. Surely doesn't have a lot. There's only a few that I've seen. Well, well, I'll go with this one first. It's like a hit or miss with people, and it's kind of hit or miss with me. But Gangster Squad, Gangster Squad. Again, her and Gosling. They apparently seem to be just be connected at the hips with movies. You do love you some gang, uh, some uh, Ryan Gosling, huh? Uh, you know he's an attractive. I don't dude. blame you. I think he's great. Yeah. I, 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 I mean, I love. I like Ryan Reynolds for his comedy, but I, Gosling, hey, he can pull some comedy like that dry comedy often. It's uh, ever seen him on Saturday Night Live? Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, him yeah. on <laughs> the one where they're doing the alien abduction ones, and he cannot. He just loses his keep shit. a straight face. Is it's alien the abduction best. one or the Beavis and Butthead one? Yep. Uh, he, this last time he was there was fantastic. <laughs> All if right, you haven't Fra seen Drive, you got to watch that movie. Fantastic. Yeah, movie. that is a good movie. Uh, yeah, I, guess I agree. All right, Frank, what is your third movie for your Emma Stone mm. triple feature? Man, I haven't seen that one. I can't take it. Uh, I'm yes, go you can. With... It doesn't matter. No, because I don't want to lie to people. I'm authentic. I'm a so method actor here. So you know the point here. here is you're just building a good triple feature. You're not saying that I've exactly. seen these movies. 
No, you're living a lie if you say that. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the rocker. The rocker. You probably, you have it? Yeah. yeah, that if people haven't seen that, that's a great that's a great movie. An old '80s rocker trying that was kicked out of the band, trying to become famous again, joins a garage band, and then they become they become as famous. It's it's really really good. Little Dwight K. Schrute on that one. Yeah, All you right. can see him running around in his underwear a lot in that movie. <laughs> Icky, he does that a lot. He did that in the office a lot too, for some reason. Maybe he likes to do it. You know, that's his thing. All right, Icky, what is your third and final movie? I don't want to go with another Academy Award movie, so I'm going to go with another uh, comedy, which is Easy A. Oh, the one so that you, made her. you were skipping over uh, La La Land. Uh, that's actually not the one I was thinking. Oh. Mm -hmm. All right, well, you're yeah, going that. that, so I will go La La Land for my. Okay. Uh, final one because I actually have seen bits and pieces of that and it doesn't matter I was if I've seen the whole thing things the, the most yeah. recent yeah, yeah that for, one like, dude award winners Whoa. Frankenstein movie talk about your boobies yeah oh Black. like hardcore she really loved the sex in the movie she's Louise man some other honorable mentions here obviously we got uh you got poor things right there uh she was also in the help as well yeah the shit pie <laughs> And another one that I might have gone to because uh, we've seen this multiple times in the house and my daughter actually went as this for Cruella? Halloween. Yeah, Cruella. Yeah. And we were we were in Disneyland for Oogie Boogie Nights where you can dress up in a costume and my daughter dressed up as Cruella. And basically kind of what you do is they shuffle you through these lines and if you want to make your money back on the ticket to Oogie Boogie, go because you can make your money back in candy. You end up with oh. so much like at the end of the night they have extra so as you're walking out they're just handing you handfuls of snickers and uh milky ways and like all the like twix all this candy and so they shuffle you along and then they'll have a villain up there uh that's kind of entertaining you while you're going through the lines and one of them was cruella and they pointed out my daughter who was dressed up like cruella i thought it was pretty fantastic are they supposed nice. to be making a second movie with her i thought I've there was like heard that i think possibility I do believe so. I do believe you might be correct, sir. 